what correlation between fitness and mutation is used? Is it considered to be a more mutations equals less fitness one to one, or like how how do you model that relationship? That's right. It's a the more mutational buildup, the less capable well, the animal is so to fit the, into its different environments. The evolutionary biologists would say just the opposite: that the more mutations in the population. Uh, would increase the, what do you call it, versatility, robustness of the species, and so it would overall enhance your species' uh, health? To say that mutations, it's like, in order to generate a perfect A paper, I'm going to put a bunch of letters in a number generator, and like lottery balls, it's going to spit out a whole bunch. Mutations are randomizations of once originally useful data. And so to randomize your data, you're not going to get it better. And so my question would be, show me where that happens. So I know that they say that, and I was taught that too, and I used to believe it too, because it's all I had ever heard. But when you randomize something, you don't make it more robust. To me, that's less scientific and more fairy tale talk.